and today's variable machine is metasploitable. I'm going to show you a quick way how to achieve or how to accomplish and have root access on the variable machine using only port 80 or piggybacking on board 80. So here's board 80 here. This is nmap scan by the way. And I'm not gonna bother around with those open ports. I'm gonna use the port 80 here and see if I can get access to the vulnerable machine by exploiting some kind of vulnerability. So first, um, if we go to the uh, web server here, okay, and the directory TikiWiki, okay, this directory can be found if you run NictoScan. If I run NictoScan here, it's going to show me that there is a directory called TikiWiki. And by the way, the server or the Apache server, the version is outdated. So this is an additional chance or opportunity to take advantage of this and find possible exploits. Okay. So let's continue our work while it's uh, continue scanning. So I'm gonna open a new window or a new terminal. Okay, as you can see here, it's showing us that there is a possible command injection vulnerability in uh, this directory, which has a tiki wiki thing. Okay, so I'm gonna close this and launch MSF console. Now, the vulnerability that or the exploit that is going to work is this exploit and this. The, this exploit is taking advantage of command or remote PHP code injection due to a, a vulnerability uh, being existed in the current version of the Apache server. And this will dump the current database credentials. Okay, so in this video, we are concerned only about the um, Shell having shell access on the vulnerable machine, so let's do this exploit right now. Okay, let's see the available options. Okay, let's see the R host. And see the com see the uh, the, com the available compatible payloads. Show payloads. Okay, let's use generic shell reverse TCP and be sure uh, every time you launch a module or exploit, every time make sure that you use the, the, the associated compatible payload because if you use some kind of Windows Linux interpreter uh, reverse shell reverse TCP, it's not going to work because actually or basically simply it's not compatible with the, um, the current module of this exploit. So be sure to launch the command show payloads, see the available compatible payloads and use whatever you like. So set payload show options set at the host which is the, which is the IP of, the, of my uh, attacking machine. Now exploit Okay, now we have 10 sessions open on the burnable machine. Now we need to spawn um, bash shell for this. Let's copy my bash shell code here. Okay, paste it here. 
Okay, now we have shell access to the vulnerable machine. If we issue the command ID, we are www.data, which is a restricted user who has restricted um, uh, some kind of actions on the vulnerable machine. And we need to escalate our privilege to extend our uh, some access. Okay, now let's have some information about the current system. You name minus A. Or you can type which is the current version. Now, uh, the way that worked for me is that the vulnerable, uh, the current version of the Linux is vulnerable. To see the available exploits for this vulnerable uh, version, so just search for it in the current uh, database of export database Linux. 2.6 now let's have this here and okay now 2.6 starting from here Okay, let me cancel this because I want to have the links. Okay, now from the beginning, I'm going to search for Linux 2.6. Um, all those versions, I don't care about them. Okay, from here, now I have 2.6 is good for Debian, Ubuntu, UDEV. Okay, this one, I'm gonna shoot this one, okay, have the links for it. And this is already on my um, search here. So, this uh, kind of Exploit here is good for any Linux distribution or any uh, that uh, falls on the version 2.6, which is UDEV privilege escalation vulnerability. So, actually, you either download this, let me go back, you actually download basically download this code here, okay, and modify the code to fit your configurations or just go to massive console here let me close this and as long as I have 10 sessions open I don't need this session right now so let me close the session okay now let's search for UDEV exploit on Linux Since we have the current version of the Linux is vulnerable and to privilege escalation vulnerability, we will search for this in Metasploit. Okay, 
Now let's use this exploit, which is pretty much old. Now we need to see the available options to configure this exploit to work properly. So here we need to set um, the net link PID and session. So the net link and session, let's first um, set the session ID. How many sessions we have right now? We have nine sessions open. Let's use the, actually we have closed one session here, session nine. So let's use session 10. And we need to have the net link PID actually. So let's go back, background, um, sorry, sessions minus I. And, okay, now session, let's use, for example, session 10. Let's spawn the shell as usual. And we need to have the net link ID. You have it by typing this command get um, proc net net link. And you take this number, okay? This is the PID of the net link. You have it here. Copy. And then Okay, no problem. Okay, let's see the session again. Now we will choose session 8. Show options. Set session 8. Since we closed two sessions till now. And here I'm gonna set the net link PID that I got so set net link PID okay other options okay all options are fully filled right now let's explore it Okay, now the export has been worked and let's see the sessions or let's see the ID. I'm oh, sorry, this info. Um, get your ID, shell, ID, roots. Okay, so that's it. Actually, you search, uh, the, the most thing that helped us is. Uh, the current vulnerability of the current Linux version 2.6 without this vulnerability exist being existed, we wouldn't have we wouldn't um, have been able to escalate our privilege. So basically, that's it. And in the upcoming videos, I'm gonna show you different ways to achieve the same purpose and objective. Thank you for watching.